What's going on everybody? My name is Bobby and I'm just another reactor here on YouTube and today I'm going to be reacting to Rush YYZ and this is covered by Yoyoka's band in Sapporo. But before I get to this reaction I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video and if you care to support my channel there's a PayPal link in the description or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. You can even donate through the Cash App using my email address, which is also in the description below. But donations to my channel are not necessary, they're not required. You can watch my videos for free, but any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Now, uh, there's a couple of reasons why I'm reacting to this particular song this particular cover by Yoyoka. Uh, one of them being is that I noticed a few days ago that Yoyoka released two videos uh, of her band playing in Sapporo. I don't even know where that's at or if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm guessing it's somewhere in Japan maybe, I'm not sure. One of the covers or that she was doing was a cover of a song called Onyx by a drummer, a, another drummer that y'all have been requesting that I do some reactions to, which I'm going to get to soon. I just haven't gotten to any of her covers yet, uh, but I hear she's a really good drummer too. Well, she's covering uh, the song Onyx by, I guess, Senri's band, or I don't know, it's a Senri original. Like I don't remember what Senri's last name is. It's a word that I'm not familiar with her name I mean um, so I wanted to react to that but because I haven't heard Sanri's original version I didn't want to react to that yet until I um, watch Sanri's version and it might be interesting to do a double reaction just to kind of not compare their playing but just kind of see the difference or the similarities in their playing um, but yeah, didn't want to do that one yet because I haven't heard that song, but I have heard YYZ and as many of y'all know, I've also reacted to uh, Yoyoka's cover of YYZ, the one she recorded at her home. The other reason I wanted to react to this is because I noticed the other day I was looking through the analytics of my channel that my reaction to Yoyoka uh, covering Kill the King by Rainbow made it to the number one spot of my all-time most viewed videos since I started my reaction channel. For the longest time, my top 10 most viewed reaction videos were uh, Baby Metal, Some Love Bites, and a One Bandmate song, uh, the song Freedom. And right now my top 10 still has mostly Baby Metal. Uh, three Love Bite songs and a bandmate song, those round out the bottom nine, but the number one video is uh, Yoyoka, her cover of Kill the King, and I had noticed since I posted that video, I mean it blew up when I first posted it, but I had noticed that it was still getting a lot of views day by day, and it was slowly going up the the list of my most watched reaction videos in my analytics. Uh, you know, I saw it at like number seven a while back and then it moved to six and then five and just kept moving up and up and finally reached number one. It's got 27,847 views. The video in spot number two is for Baby Metal's uh, Akatsuki, I believe it's pronounced. That has 23,638 views. And then the third one is Baby Metal's Akatsuki also, but the unfinished version, and that's got 23,018 uh, views. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see Yoyoka work her way up there. Uh, I wish my other Yoyoka videos would get that many views, but for some reason, y'all really like that particular reaction. So that's the other reason why I wanted to react to just a Yoyoka video was because of that, you know, to just kind of celebrate that milestone of that particular video reaching number one of my all-time uh, most viewed videos. 
So without, and thank you all for that, by the way. Thank you for all those views, and thank you for all your views on my other reactions as well. So without further ado, this is my reaction to, again, Yoyoka covering YYZ, but this time with her band in Sapporo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, before I get to these drum rolls that Yoyoka is going to do, which I'm pretty sure are going to be awesome, uh, I just wanted to say uh, another reason I just thought of that's a, a good reason to react to this that I hadn't thought of before until just now as I was watching this is it's good to see her playing this song without following Rush's original version because when you're trying to follow a, a song on an album or whatever with headphones or speakers or whatever you're you're following that drum beat that's already there when you're playing with a band it's you on the drums and that's it you have nobody to follow you gotta either play it or screw it up so it's really cool to see her hold her own here and playing this by herself and still kicking ass at it the band sounds pretty good, you know, they don't have the equipment that Rush has, so they don't have that big, badass Rush sound that I love so much. Uh, but they're doing a good job, you know, two guitar players on a Rush song is kind of interesting, but, you know, I think Rush, if I remember right, in a lot of their concerts, they did have some rhythm guitar parts and playing in the back background uh, to some of their songs. So that when Alex was playing a solo, you had a more full sound. I believe they did that, but maybe not. I'm not sure. But uh, I think most of what you heard live from Rush was being played by somebody. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, it's really cool to see Yoyoka holding her own here. Now I want to see these drum rolls. I know she's going to kick ass at them, even though she doesn't have the small toms to do the famous roll. <laughs>
Byron Butterfield. Saw his name on there. Wave Potter. Pat Carey. She's donated to my channel before. I think it's a she if I remember right. Sorry, Pat. Well, that was kick-ass. Uh, that was Zoyoka again covering YYZ, but this time playing it live with her band in Sapporo. Sapporo? Yeah, uh, I'm probably butchering that name. But, yeah, that was really cool. Um, I can't wait to see if Yoyoka ever gets in a band where, you know, they're going to be playing big shows with huge sound systems and guitar amps and bass amps and all that and get a big huge sound. This band did good, uh, but it just seemed like they were, I don't know, playing in a small venue that didn't have a very big sound and uh, Yoyoka did great. It, there was one part during all those drum rolls that it, I don't know, I had to listen to it again, but it sound like, sounded like somebody played a part different or something. It was either Yoyoka doing one of the drum rolls or the bass player playing one of the bass licks. Those bass licks are tough to play. There was even one where she kind of didn't play it exactly the way Getty Lee plays it, but it still did a good job. But something just sounded different there. I'll have to listen to it again to see if if I'm wrong or, or if, there really, if something really did happen there. Uh, but yeah, also at the beginning, uh, you know, it starts off with just the drum, uh, snare drum and hi-hat hitting at the same time and the bass drum going da 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 you know, all that. It starts with that, but then when it goes into the drum beat, man, that part, uh, you know, Yoka seemed to ple be playing a little fast and I talked about that in one of my reaction videos, I believe it was to Yoyoka that when you're playing live, I think it was to my reaction to her covering Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. And I talked about that sometimes when I would play live, just the adrenaline gets the best of you depending on the crowd. And sometimes I tended to play a little fast and my band would look at me like, hey, slow down. <laughs> you know, and, and she seemed to do that there. And I saw her look at the guitar player and they kind of, smiled at each other but I'm wondering if that's really what was happening it seemed like it was because she started a little, little fast but then kind of you know brought it down a little bit to speed but yeah kick ass she's an awesome drummer and I can't wait to see her playing bigger venues with you know musicians like I said that have all the big sound equipment and everything that's gonna be awesome so anyway that's my reaction I hope you all enjoyed it and I just want to remind y'all again to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. Or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. You can even donate through the Cash App using my email address, which is also in the description below. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free, but any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you all once again for watching my reaction to Rush YYZ covered by Yoyoka and her band in Sapporo.